Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 15, 2018. We're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome in the news. Surinamese duck meat company still can't get its product on the Trinidadian market. Paris Agreement addressed in Parliament. UNICEF representative for Suriname visited the Minister of Sports and Youth Affairs. And 100 to 150 ID cards made daily by registration office. I am Dakota Simpson Marshall. This is the local news. For four years, the Surinamese Duck Meat Company, Duxon Club, has been trying to get its product on the Trinidadian market, but without success. Minister Stephen Shang of Trade, Industry and Tourism said that he has been informed of this lingering issue. The 46th Council for Trade and Economic Development, COTED, will be held from May 16 to 17 in Guyana. Trinidad is an expert in delaying techniques, said Gerard van den Berg, CEO of the Duxon Club. On the other hand, he wonders whether Suriname is a country that is easy to mislead. The CEO cannot accept that after many meetings and bilateral talks, there is still no clarity about exporting to Trinidad. One of the reasons why Trinidad does not accept meat products from Suriname is because, according to him, our country does not meet the requirements to export meat. The Paris Agreement is being discussed in Parliament. Winston Lacking is, on behalf of the President, in charge of coordinating the environmental policy of our country. Lacking indicated that concrete steps have been taken to make a good environmental policy. On the other hand, he said that there are still some challenges that needs to be bridged. The environmental law should ensure that all ratified conventions are included in the national legislation. According to Lacking, the use of the mangrove trees that grows along the coast of our country, for instance, for smoking fish, should be banned. This plant must be protected by the, env by the environmental law. The Paris Declaration is an international agreement which was approved in March 2005 by more than 100 governments of donor and developing countries and by several multilateral institutions. The UNICEF representative for Suriname, Sylvie Fouette, visited Minister Lalini Gopal of Sports and Youth Affairs. UNICEF outlined a contract with Suriname and Guyana for five years, running from 2016 to 2021. Three areas of work will be developed, namely early childhood, adolescence development, and education. During this meeting, Foyette and educational specialist Faisal Chonaloy discussed the state of play regarding Platform Youth Impact Network, YIN, and ongoing projects with the minister. The focus of UNICEF for the coming year will be particularly on dropouts and the violence among and against young people. By examining interdepartmentally what can be done in the interest of young people, the representative offered to work together on solution models. Minister Gopal welcomed the proposals from UNICEF and the ministry will examine how to teach young people discipline, perseverance and self-assurance through sports. <laughs> At the ID card department of the Central Registration Office, CBB, 100 to 150 identity cards are made every day. This number increases even more during the holidays. For example, two to three times more people applied for an ID card during the past Easter holidays. 
It's especially citizens who have exchanged their ID card because the period of validity expired. Also, when the information on the ID card has been changed, a new one needs to be made, said Natasha Wang Sui San, acting director of the CBB. This happens, for example, when a woman is newly married. The law indicates that the married name must appear on the ID card. According to Wang Sui San, it is especially busy during the holidays. This is because the new recipients between 16 and 18 years also register for an ID card. The 16 and 17 year olds who register for the very first time should present their family booklet and a registration certificate. It is important that they bring a registration certificate because then it can be seen that they are indeed registered at a CBB office. The registration document also indicates that they are not yet registered as an ID creditor. After the process, the ID card can be made, explained the CBB official. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow for more. Have a blessed day.